Final expense insurance sales may be tougher than you think, and I'm going to give you a transparency dive into what it really looks like so that you can decide if it's for you. 90% of the insurance agents industry-wide become statistics, and I want you to become a success story. So I hope you enjoy this video about what final expense telesales and even face-to-face -face insurance truly looks like because the industry is simple, yes, but easy, it is not. And a lot of insurance agents, tip number one, get tricked into thinking that the business is easy street, all right? That's going to make you a statistic. When you're brand new, don't look at this industry like it's going to be easy. You've got to be one that says, you know what, uh, this is going to be maybe tougher than I think, so that you as an insurance agent can start training and truly taking this career seriously. I don't want you to become a casualty, and I've been so blessed to be a part of this industry over 20 plus years two plus decades, and we do recruit agents nationally to sell life, Medicare, and annuities face-to-face, -face, but more importantly, in the telespace. And let me share with you brand new insurance agents that join us. A lot of times we'll go, wow, this was maybe harder than I thought. And you've got to train like your very career depends on it because my friends, it does. So number one, don't get tricked into thinking that the business is somehow easy. Simple, yes, but no, it's not easy. And I'm going to train like this business is going to beat me up and take my bucks because if you don't, it will, all right? So you've got to understand that you're going to get lied to in this industry. This space, the ones that are statistics, they're lied to all the time. You call a lead, and they say, hey, I want to do this tomorrow. And you're like, oh, okay, I'm going to put you on my calendar. You just became a casualty. It's called a no-show, all right? Or they say, oh, you know what? Um, uh, can you just mail it to me, and then maybe I'll call you back in a week? That's even worse. It's not going to happen most likely. These are great people, great prospects. You're powerfully privileged to serve them, but you're going to get a sour taste in your mouth if they sell you on every stinking thing that is said in this conversation. Telesales and even face-to-face -face insurance sales with final expense prospects can be frustrating. And it's so tough to swallow this because when you tell somebody, hey, can you call me tomorrow? I'll be there. You will, right? When you do this with a final expense prospect, you're going to be wrong here, and it's a very expensive lesson, and I don't want you thinking that the business is easy. This is why we have a five-day telemastery program. Train, train, train so that you truly have the skills necessary to not be afraid when you first get on that phone, but this business is, number one, harder than you think, and you must train like this business is going to eat me up and spit me out the backside. Don't be afraid to be ready for the lies. And it's tough when they say, oh, hey, I'm a dog walked in. Can we do this tomorrow? Hey, I'm at the grocery store. I'm in my car driving. And I've sold folks that have told me that they're in their car driving, and they're not. They later admit that they were lying to me. They're outside their car smoking. You're going to get smoked if you see every objection as truth. You've got to be able to look through it in a kind, loving, compassionate way, and in a polished way, not in a way that has a lot of friction involved. Final expense telesales has very small margins when you really don't know what you're doing. Now, it's got high profitability potential when you're good, but you've got to be ready for all these radical things that gets just thrown at you, and you got to be prepared. So preparation is important to have a chance of profitability, but it's harder than you think, and you've got to really focus on this business like that's going to be the truth. It's going to be the best paying hard work you've ever seen in your life, but I want you to be cautious because you could become a statistic if you think this business is easy and you just start engaging with leads. You're going to lose a lot of money. All right. Now, number two, let's talk about systems. A lot of agents that fail out, they think, you know what? I'm just going to buy a bunch of leads and I'll figure it out. You're going to get frustrated and frustration's real. This is why it's so important that when you jump into final expense telesales, that you truly have heart for others and you've got a ton of hustle in you. Because when you're new, you're going to have to polish yourself. And that comes from taking phone calls. If you're a face-to-face -face final expense agent, that means knocking the doors, right? It's seeing the people, knocking doors, seeing the people. That sounds boring. Well, the business is simple. But if you want to become a statistic, think the business is easy. You've got to do a lot of work, especially at first. Don't get tricked into thinking that you can work one to two hours, all right, every week, and somehow you're going to have piles of money, and this is like a get-rich-quick scheme. You're the one that's getting screwed here. This business takes systems. 
This business takes true mentorship from people that have made mistakes before you, all right? I don't want you to get yourself hurt in an industry because maybe you never heard this. You thought, oh, it's easy. I just read these words on a paper, and somehow I'm going to make the wealth. That's not the truth. You've got to prepare. You've got to train because the business, back to tip number one, is harder than you think, and you've got to truly be able to work the systems with grace, with just this polished way about you so that you don't sound like you're a robot, all right? That's not going to make you a real wealth, and this industry is a performance-based business. You've got to look at it not through rose-colored glasses here. This business will rob you of everything you thought you could attain if you don't actually look at this business. Like I've got to follow systems, I've got to follow scripts, and I'm not guaranteed anything. The 1099 business is a performance-based business. You don't get paid unless you perform, solve a problem, and sell a policy. That's tough to swallow for some folks that come from a W-2 where they just check in and check out and get a smoke break and get a lunch break. You're going to leave the industry if you don't have heart and if you don't have hustle. You've got to outwork everybody else when you're brand new when you're a new guy even when you have the greatest final expense telesales scripts and trainings and systems the business doesn't work my friends unless you work the business it's going to beat you up so no no second okay lazy ways to do this don't overthink the business don't think that you're a brand new agent and you're a smart marketer and you're going to somehow figure it out the mousetrap is going to be better built by you you're going to become a statistic. I'll tell you that right now. Don't do that. Systems and mentorship are so important. I've done this industry well over two plus decades, 20 plus years. Let me share with you, I've made some mistakes. I can share with you my screw ups so that you don't get hurt and harmed in an industry that makes a lot of people statistics. You want to be a success story? Follow simple systems to the T and then take this business to heart and take your heart and go hustle and hustle and hustle and hustle. If you're one that's got a lot of hustle, you know how to work. Let me tell you, people that don't have heart, people that don't have hustle, they don't have a chance, period. It's essential that you you to get out of bed every morning and be on that phone. No one's going to make you be on the phone. Nobody. You're a 10 and 9. Will you take the business serious or you will you become a statistic? Systems and mentorship, very important. Having proven power scripts, having the right skills to handle the business is important. But if you don't have heart, if you're a pushy insurance salesman, you're not going to make it most likely. And if you do write business, it's not going to stick because they don't truly like you. They're going to cancel the check before you make it out of the driveway. All right. But systems and mentorship. Mighty important, but you better have heart and you better have hustle. And if you're still watching this video, I'm guessing you got a heart for others and you've got a hustle about you because you want to have what this business can offer you, and that's essential to you. Now, if you like the video, can you do me a favor? Like the video. Leave a comment. Even if you think my hairline's receding, that's okay too. Leave a little comment for me and share it with a buddy, and I really do appreciate you watching. I hope this is valuable to you because a lot of insurance agents get the rah-rah, and they don't get the real talk about what the business looks like. You've got to be scripted and you've got to be scripted well. But number three, this is what takes out a lot of insurance agents. You don't expect it, and that's rejection. Rejection is just tough to swallow. And agents that become statistics selling final expense telesales and agents that become statistics with face-to-face -face final expense sales, they get told and sold, I don't need this. I don't want this. I changed my mind. That direct mail lead card, I didn't do it. That Facebook final expense lead that I self-generated, I, I didn't do that. That was my computer lying to you. You're dealing with a professional procrastinator. You're dealing with a prospect who's the most powerful person at manipulating you that you may have ever seen in your life. And that's why I say it's tough because you believe everything they say say, and by you believing what is said, you just swallowed the lie that's going to take you out of this business. You've got to be a polished professional. You've got to be ready. You've got to be prepared, but you're going to get robbed of your lead spend when everything that they say you swallow is the Lord's truth. Be careful. Belief is the backbone of this industry, and they're going to say, I'm too busy. Mail it to me. Um, can we do this tomorrow? Um, I, I need to talk to my dog. I need to talk to my daughter who I see once a year. Or I'll talk to you in six months. Can we schedule this for a month out? I'm just so busy this week. Wink, wink. 
you're getting sold. Like I say, the business is very simple, but it's not easy. So a lot of times when we engage with prospects, we have a powerful rejection that comes on you. It's like a dark cloud. Do you know what to do when the dark cloud comes? It'll take you out and you'll become a casualty if you're not okay with rejection. You go knocking doors that this person filled out a lead card. You're like, yay, this is going to be a great day. And then they beep you out on the doorstep if you're a face-to-face -face frustrated final expense insurance agent. And we train so many agents industry-wide and country-wide how to sell insurance face-to-face, -face, but more importantly in the telespace over the phone. They get punished with the phone as well. Don't let everybody trick you into thinking this business is unicorns, fart, and rainbows. The fierce reality of this business is that you're going to be rejected more than you're going to be accepted. And it's tough to swallow rejection. It just is. You've got to be prepared like mm, you've never been prepared. You're going to war here. You want the wealth? Be prepared to go to war. And I'm not talking about being adversarial. I'm talking about being a professional, not talking about being pushy. I'm talking about putting the interest of the client before your very own. But you cannot swallow the lies that you're going to hear. You've got to be ready for rejection. You've got to be prepared so that when that comes, you know what to say to save that client. You may be the last insurance agent they ever talked to. Take this call seriously. When you get that door knock ahead of you, know what to do. But rejection will rob you of belief and don't have anyone tell you any different. Belief is the backbone of this very simple business. Once you fail to believe what you do is good, once you fail to believe that these folks need you, you're knocked out at the knees and you're never going to find success, period. But rejection, man, you're going to have days that you're like, you make a sale and the sting of the rejection goes away. And then rejection comes back and you're like, oh, do I have what it takes? Yes, but take another step. Go see another person. The business is pretty darn simple. Go see a person. When Monday happens for your work week, if that's when your work week starts, I want you to think about one word, move. Move, move, move. Moving targets don't take the shrapnel the same. Okay, you want to stay in that little place of nothing, Bill, you're going to get nuked. You're going to get hurt. You cannot fail to move or you will fail. This business is a hustle business combined with great heart for others, with good skill and mentorship, but you're still going to get rejected. You can have the greatest training on the planet, and they're going to say, mm, mail it to me. Ooh, I didn't do that. Hey, I'm busy. Are you prepared? Has your work family invested days and days and days like we do with the agents that we recruit and partner here at jasonfinalexpense.com? Are you being given a fair shake or are you just dealing with the stings of rejection because nobody was with you along this journey so that you can become a success story? Being a statistic stinks. All right. It just does. And that's why you got to bring so much hustle. You can't stop grinding. You can't stop moving when you're brand new. Now, later in the business, you know what? You're going to be so powerful. Hopefully you're going to be in a place that you have what you desire, but that comes because you did the business. The business works if you work the business, most likely. But a lot of folks don't understand what rejection feels like. It's easy to talk about. It's tough to take to the chest, being real with you. There's going to be days where you're overpaid. Man, I made a lot of commission today. This is great. One of our partnered agents yesterday, over $9,000 in commission in one day. Now, that's not guaranteed to be you, all right? That's a one-day amazing day uh, for him. But let me share with you, you've got to be ready that I'm going to be high enough to hunt ducks with a rake one day, and then one day I got zilch, nothing, and I'm a great agent. What in the heck is wrong with me? Nothing. You've got to get your head right. Get your head right so that you can focus on what this business really looks like, and that's making other people's lives better than when we found them. Being in a place where we believe that we have the medic kit that's going to take care of the victims ahead of us. When you bring a check all right, through the hands of these amazing companies to these beneficiaries, there's nothing better, and it'll change you. I promise you. I've been in this industry a long time, my friends, and there's not a moment that I take this business for granted. I love the privilege of what we get to do. It's a painful playground, and I've seen hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of agents become trained and truly know what they need to do. But you have to take the reins and make this your reality, even when you're trained. Nothing's truly going to happen unless you're prepared to go right into battle and be an insurance agent by calling your leads, never calling it quits, and not being caustic.
pretty simple, but it's not easy. You get trained, you get everything you need to know, and then you sit down in your chair and go, uh oh, rejection's coming in. Rejection happens because you didn't move. If you're moving, you don't have time, not even a moment to think about much rejection. When you get rejected on one call, next, that's what you need to be thinking about. When you hear no, next, that's what you need to be thinking about. Move, move, move. Moving targets are hard to hit. You want to have the riches of this industry? You want to have the chance for it? Start moving. You want to become a statistic? Sit there. Sit there. Not what you want to hear. I know, but it's the truth. All right. Not going to get you a lot of subscribers if you've got a YouTube channel saying, you know what, this is the reality of what the business flipping looks like. You want to find success? Get ready for rejection. That's part of the industry. Painful. And I think a lot of folks don't talk about it enough. We prepare agents for the pain, but you've got to truly put yourself in action. Nobody can train your hustle muscle. If I could train tall in basketball, it'd be a good day, but I can't. Now, if you're still watching the video, number four is big. Understand this is a numbers game combined with work, all right? It's a numbers game. You got to go through the numbers if you want a chance of becoming a success story. And yes, you're going to stumble over your own tongue like I just did. It's okay. Lean in. Keep moving, all right? Like we're talking about, this business is skill equals the chance of success. But skill is nothing if you don't move. It's a numbers game. You've got to grind. You've got to get in front of 15 people a week if you're a face-to-face -face final expense insurance agent, and you got to go belly to belly if you want a chance of making a buck. If you're a face-to-face -face final expense insurance agent, you've got to gain the numbers so that when that numeric, I don't want it, I'm going to think about it, i got to change my mind, not today happens, you've got another up, another uplifting opportunity with the next house, the next home. You're there to help them. And if you don't have 15 appointments as a face-to-face -face annuity sales agent or a face-to-face -face Medicare agent, if you don't have 15 appointments, you're setting yourself up for failure, my friends. You have to focus first on getting yourself booked so you have the best numbers game to be able to get what you want in that success. Statistics go, oh, I got one or two appointments this week. Hope it works out. You're going to have commission breath up in you so deep, you probably won't make a dollar. And if you do make a dollar, you got lucky. All right. This business is not about getting lucky, my friends. It's about being skilled. It's about finishing what you start. It's about doing what you say. It's about truly taking the numbers and putting them in your favor. And so many insurance agents get tricked into the industry thinking, I got skills. All right. But you fail yourself because you don't show up. All right. You, you can fail me. But when you fail yourself, that stings deeper. You know you should have started Monday, and you didn't. You know you should have bought leads, and you didn't. You know you've got leads, and you didn't door knock them if you're a face-to-face -face insurance agent. That's going to frustrate you on the inside, and that's going to come across your countenance on the outside. Don't fail yourself, my friends. Don't fail to execute. You're going to get executed in this industry. Final expense telesales is truly amazing. It is. It's dynamic, but you've got to do the work. It's not like, oh, I'm a final expense telesales agent. Good. Everybody's going to call me, uh, not unless you're buying inbound leads. And even when you have great inbound leads like what we provide. And if you need good leads, jasonfinalexpense.com will help you. But when you have good inbound leads, let me share with you, they don't just say, here's my checkbook. Go ahead and sell me a policy so you get paid, Jason. That's not how inbound leads work. You still have to bring the skill. It's still a numeric equation. You still have to trust the numbers. And you know what? Sometimes you get numbers that come in and everybody's like, no, 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 no. And then you have a sea of success, like a tidal wave taking the corner and coming at you and you ride it like you're God's gift to surfing success. All right. And then you have the little waves that come in of nothing. The waves of rejection, the waves of everybody is just biting me right now, not buying from me. Get yourself into a place that you've got a good mental attitude. Get yourself into a place that you can trust the numbers because you have what it takes. But don't fail yourself, my friends. And if you failed yourself yesterday, stand up tall and take the business serious. Step up to success and go, okay. I learned from that. I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to be lazy like I was yesterday. I'm not going to sit in my chair and spin. I'm going to spend the time on the phones if I want to be a successful final expense telesales agent. I'm not going to just read words on a paper. Maybe I'm going to get some mentorship and focus on skill set and spend days deep like what jasonfinalexpense.com provides to their work family agents. You've got to focus on your future. Don't focus on failure. 
remember you've got what it takes, my friends, but don't let anyone trick you into thinking that this business is unicorns farting rainbows and you can just sit on your couch and make piles of cash. It's not the truth. Don't be a pushy salesman. Put your time into mentorship, skill set, will set, hustle, but have a heart for folks. But be okay when rejection comes because it's a reality of a simple business. Buy the leads and trust the numbers. Don't think you're going to invent somehow some magic script when you haven't even sold two policies a day in your life. You've got to focus on what works. The system can work. If you work the system systematically and in the right order, just like a recipe, you go mixing up the wet ingredients before the dry ingredients or vice versa. If the recipe calls for something different, you're going to have a radically different result, even though the same ingredients went into the bowl. Become the best that you can be by having somebody who can make a way for you, my friends. That's the path that is going to help you become Lord willing, a top performer, but if you want to become a statistic, go ahead and think the business is easy street. You want to become a statistic, go ahead, think you don't need a script. You can just talk to leads, and you're going to make a lot of money because it's a lie. Go ahead and think that rejection is no big deal. Yeah, it's coming for you. Be one that thinks you don't need leads. All right, we'll see how that works for you. It's not the path to success. So I hope this helps you. It's what you need to hear, but maybe not what you've been told. If you need any help or any resources, jasonfinalexpense.com. I appreciate you watching. Thank you to those of you that subscribe and have the notification bell on. I'll do my best to bring you value every day. But don't lose heart, my friends. You have what it takes, and we'll see you soon. I appreciate you.